why is it so zoomed in? What a way to start a video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we have something really cool for the 240. I almost call it the Civic. Um, it was red, dude. I saw the corner of my eye and I just was like, Civic. Anyways, when we took it for a drive the other day, we couldn't really do much because we didn't know any of our readings and we didn't have any of our gauges. So, if you guys remember when we did the Civic, the Civic was like our, our first real build, I guess, and it was like we kind of tested a lot of stuff. And we have a lot of like random mismatching gauges and it's kind of... It's, it's ugly. It's, I like it. I like it. I think it suits the car, actually. I think it's cool. Because you have different things? Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't bug me. It never bu like it never once occurred to me that like it's cool because there's gauges in the Civic. It didn't bug me, but when it came to boosting the 240, I was like, you know what we should do is just get a bunch of matching gauges because that would look way better. I think that would be the proper thing to do. I don't know. We don't we don't we're out here learning with you guys. So we got a series of gauges. So we we got glow shift gauges because again, we don't want to be the people that spend like a million dollars and you guys can't relate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna get the hollow gretty ones. Yeah. <laughs> but Glowship is like a relatively affordable, and of course you guys know I like to hook you up with discounts. You guys can actually use the code Robbie10 and save yourself 10% on all these gauges and every gauge on their website because I love you guys, so I got you guys discount codes. But we decided to go with the, the Glowshift gauges because they're they work really well from what we can see, reasonably. and they're reasonably priced. So today we got a super cool package in the mail. You wanna open it up, bro? Too bad Robbie already opened it. I did open it, just to make sure it's all there. We are getting this 240 hooked up, dude. The Elite 10, bro. The Elite 10. 10 colors, tinted, piggyback system, so you don't have to run so many power cables. Emerson knows all about these gauges. I was literally like, yo, pick your favorite gauges, pick the ultimate gauges for you that you wanted the 240, and we gonna get them. They're tinted, so they're nice. They don't like reflect in the sun, and they're like a bunch of different colors, so if we ever change up like the interior lighting or he just feels like being extra happy, he can put pink on that day. <laughs> it's like pink, dude. No, that's pink. This isn't a fun game for me. You know what I see when I look at this box? Blue, 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 blue. Gray, 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 gray. That was kind of, that's accurate actually. It's pretty accurate. <laughs> we got oil pressure, wideband AFR gauge, oil temperature gauge, water temperature gauge. So we also got this little, um, it's a hose attachment. So you put this in your coolant line and then that's how- You the, can put your sensor. Yeah, that's where your sensor goes to your water temp gauge. And then we also got a sandwich plate. And last but not least, boy, stickers. Not the stickers, man. But I do want one of those. But stickers! <laughs> not just one, not just two, not just three, not just four, not just five, not just six, not just seven, not just eight, not just nine, but ten. Ten stickers, dude. We are decking out the boxes. <laughs> Anyways, the last piece that we got <laughs> is the pillar pod. Thought about maybe putting it like in like a center. Oh yeah, we gotta stick that right there, buddy. Slap it right on the fridge. Do it right now. No, I've never put a sticker on this fridge yet. You haven't put a sticker on the fridge yet? No, totally. Look at all the stickers, dude. How have you not contributed? I've only done my toolbox. Oh, and your toolbox is sadly understickered. Dude, I'm stoked we got colorful ones. Everybody's been sending us these white stickers. Like what, 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 come on, man, we need some color. Anyways, we talked for a while about doing like a center gauges like we did in the Civic, but we decided not to do that. Glowshift actually sells this pillar pod for the 240, which will be sick. And then Emerson was super picky with his boost gauge and he had to get the specific boost gauge that he was set on way before we even boosted the car. He's been- Because- it does. It, it is. It's cool, okay? I'm not saying it's not cool. But the boost gauge isn't here right now, but that's because Emerson had his mindset on this boost gauge that he wanted since like, he, since before the, we even told you guys we were gonna boost 240. He knew, <laughs> he knew what he wanted this whole time. So that was the one gauge I could not make him buy to match the rest. Anyways, do you wanna open up that one for now? Cause we're gonna need to get the bung and do that first. Also, some of you guys commented about how we like being really rough and doing shit like that. What's happening with your car next? Uh, we're gonna strip the paint and then do like this rust effect. With the wide body? <laughs> no, we're not. You gotta stop screwing up with my straight face. We're gonna get the car painted. Don't worry about us scratching it. Ta -da! Oh, that's why this one's in such a big box. It's the one they use in NASCAR. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and is there a bung in there for the downpipe? Pretty sure it's in this box. All right. Oh. First things first, we're on a little bit of a time crunch. Brad has some stuff to do, so we're gonna grab the bung. We're gonna rip the downpipe off, and then we're gonna shoot over to Brad's really quick so he can weld it on there for us. Um, because the bung is what's gonna house where the wide band goes. So we're gonna go to Brad's real quick, then we can come back, and then we can dig into these gauges. This thing is running so rich right now, this bass tune. Dude, as I pop these bolts out, it just smells like gas. Smell that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty 
pretty much we need you to weld this little guy oh, on yes. there. If I remember correctly, you want it, I think I did mine 14 inches. We'll probably put it right around here. What about there? <laughs> what about f you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You just run out of juice? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't <laughs> know. Oh, that's gross. How much does this thing zoom? Oh, that's beauty. Gives me enough to stand this far away. Close my eyes. Thank you. Way colder. I know. Than so we kind of wrapped up at Brad's pretty quickly because his garage actually is like way colder than this. It has no. Mine's not insulated, but mine doesn't. His has like, if you look in the ceiling, there's legit cracks, and you can see outside. Like it, it's hella cold. Actually, while you do that, I'm gonna hit it with some clear. Okay. Good? We leave it jacked up so we can do, put the O2 in. Yeah, which gauge do you want to put on first? O2, so then we can drop the car. That's in there tight. That's not going anywhere. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not joking. It's not coming out. Cut to spec, they say. Oh, yeah. Dude, that is sick. You can kind of see it in the, if you get the- it's so weird. So, it just looks like a little brown. I know. It's such a little tiny little guy, but it looks sick. We have to, unfortunately, we have to get these all plugged in before we can even show you, because the camera just can't see through that. Age holder, bro. It comes with a holder? Yo! I'm so- And a little visor? I'm so running this visor. I wanna land her there real quick, thread that in and pass me this, and then we can drop the car and be done. Okay, I got it. Shove, 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 shove. So why don't you plug this harness into it and just tuck it up somewhere right there and then you can run this harness around and into the hole. Do not ask me any questions about the wiring job in here, all right? Had to be fixed somehow. I mean, I won't say anything, but I can't promise that these guys aren't gonna say anything. These wires were so short, I had to extend them, and I only have blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. At least you labeled them all properly. I know, right? So when you bought it, it was just like someone had already... Like, they cut the old harness off. They didn't use, like, the adapter thing. Cut the wires and hardwired each wire. Jeez. And then when I went to go check it to put a new radio in, these wires are so short, I can't do anything. So I had to extend them, and I only had blue wires. <laughs> we were in the middle of installing this one, and Emerson was like, wait, we need to power one more gauge. Because, because basically, like, this is a power wire for the gauges. So he's going to tap into the 12-volt constant power ground source for one gauge. And then on the back of this gauge, you plug in this little thingy. This is like another main reason why he really wanted these ones because he was really hyped about the I daisy chain. I don't know anyone else that does this. But this no, cool. me neither. I've never so, heard of it until you said it. So if we run this power cable to the back of this gauge, then you can run that little loop from another port behind this gauge then, to the next one. And, and then, then, then you can run another one from this gauge to the next one. So when it comes to power, we only have to run two power sources, one to the AFR and one to the first gauge in the chain of these gauges. <laughs> That was the sound of taking them out successfully, or the sound of I just broke every single one. <laughs> well, let's just hope that you took them out successfully. This one looks broken at the bottom. It says in those four locations, but okay. yours isn't exactly that. Here? Right here. Right here, these two bottom corners. Wow. I do it one at a time. Oh, you know what? Once we put these in here, we can't take them back out. Yeah, that's the point. Okay. Can we trade with you? Oh, 
I assumed trade meant we would trade jobs, not that he would just ditch me to go pee. Dick. I did it. Really? Yeah. Then you want to drill holes like right here? Okay, pretty big ones, right, for the wires? That felt rough. It did, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I was a little rough. So now we should just have to run like the sensors, then the wires from the sensors to the gauges, and then, oh, do you want to test the lighting first? Do you want to do the daisy chain and see if they all light up to make sure that we did the first step properly? Gauges and daisy chains. What's the first gauge that you wired to there? Doesn't matter? <coughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, but I'd probably do oil pressure. Oh good, that's what I have. So this one will go to A, and then you can plug it into your B. Oh, did you make sure it was clicked in all the way? The one I just gave you wasn't clicked in all the way, because this one just clicked in, and I was like, uh-oh, I did not feel that. Okay, ready? Well, in truth, if it actually works. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's sick. You literally, right away, that you just heard them. Oh, you didn't even plug that oh. one in. <laughs> I was like, why is this one? Right when you did it, it just went and you heard them all dial up. That's so cool. And then they all light back up. Well, it's because these ones don't have a sensor to it. Yeah, they're like, the hell's going on? <laughs> Dude, we're going to make, every time you give me your car, I'm going to give it back with pink gauges. Like I said, I don't care that they're all mismatched, but after seeing Emerson's like all the same, there's no way that after we get the new motor in the Civic, I can't not have matching gauges. That's just, it's too cool. And where do you want to run that water temp one? Just right here? Oh, fits like a glove. Dude, those look so cool. Dude, I want those little visors for mine, man. Those are so cool. So with those hats on and in the gauge pillars, you'd have to spin the hat to, or the gauge inside the hat. I feel like those hats are more meant for when you put them on like the little dash stickies, but that's probably why they don't fit in there straight up and down, but they still look sick in there. So what if I ran out like this? Actually, it kind of doesn't look bad. People from the outside can't see. It would block the sun from coming in your window. Actually, like, you were just being a dumbass and it actually kind of <laughs> looks cool. It's 11 o'clock and Emerson has to go to, Emerson, what time do you leave for school in the morning from your house? 5.30. Kid leaves for 5.30 in the morning every day to go to school. I couldn't do shit like that. <laughs> Anyways, we haven't even eaten yet. It's like 11 o'clock and he's got to wake up early to go to school. So we will catch you guys in the morning or when he gets off school. Or maybe before he's off school because I'm really bored and I'm not waiting for him. Plus when it comes to jobs like these, I'm kind of useless because like, I don't want to do the wiring wrong. I could do it, but I don't want to do it wrong because I'm colorblind, so I make him do most of the work. So I figured all we really have left to do is just wire these sensors in. So we have this one is a pressure sensor and we have this one is the temperature sensor for the oil. So both of these have to go in the sandwich plate. Hopefully I don't make a mess taking this oil filter off. What the hell was that? We didn't put the cover on the, the fuse. Yeah, probably should do that before I kill myself. I am so happy that that worked. I want to see if I can show you guys how, just like how tight this is. Emerson was super paranoid this wasn't going to work, so he's going to be stoked when he get, gets over here and sees that I did it. Oh, it's really hard to tell. Anyways, you guys can just, you can see. It's super tight. Oh, I did really? all the oil fittings. Really? Did you put, did you put the new one on? Yeah. Yeah, so we need to put a cover on that before we kill ourselves. Like you can touch one, but you, if you touch both, that's yeah. Well, the oil <laughs> wrench is like big enough that it probably z it dragged across both, right? <laughs> that probably scared the fuck out of you. It did, dude. I literally just stood there. I was like, did I just die? Kind of ugly, but it'll work. Don't be idiots. Cover that from day one. Do not follow in our footsteps because we are idiots. I was telling you guys that we're gonna wait to put that other gauge in like a center holder. So I think for now, we may as well just toss one of these guys in. I'll throw it in there for now, at least. I'm gonna put that AFR gauge just in one of these little pod guys until we get the, the rest of it going. <laughs> it does look a little stupid, but that's okay. I didn't even bother wasting the double-sided tape because it's literally gonna be on here for like days. So there's no point in wasting the tape. All right, Everson got everything inside tucked up. It is not final like let me let me remind you guys it is not final it is just for today to make sure it all works and then once we get the rest of the other gauges figured out we will finalize everything so if it looks a little rough don't judge us let's get a, a little demo of these gauges
Brad, do you want to bring it back in before it dies? I don't know if you guys noticed, one, it's a really cold day out today, so if you guys see a bunch of smoke and stuff, that's just, it's it's cold, so it's doing that. But like, this thing's <laughs> running so rich. And then as we were sitting there filming that, I was, I was trying to get you guys the best thing I could, but as we were filming, the car was kind of bogging out and like starting to die, like it's straight up like almost shut off a couple times. And basically, I know this wasn't like the most pristine, did it just die on you? Anyways, it wasn't like the absolute best thing to show you guys these gauges right this second, because they aren't perfectly, uh, Oh, I hate when your fan's going. They aren't perfectly calibrated, but we're not gonna spend our time calibrating each and every gauge. Unplug the battery tomorrow to put in what we gotta do next, right? So there's no real point to that. I will show you guys how we calibrate them, and I will show you guys like the final outcome. It'll just be in another video, but this is what they look like for now. I think they look sick. I think it's, it, it, it looks like those little hats almost look kind of like a drag tower. You get like the sickest view from the driver's seat. I wanna show them like, how sick they look in the dark. <laughs> they look sick, dude. I'm so stoked. I'm so excited to like actually get this thing on the road and like see these guys actually doing some work. Anyways, that's pretty much all we're gonna have for today's video. I hope you guys are stoked with these gauges. I think these look super killer. And don't forget, if you guys are interested in anything on Glowshift's website, make sure to use the code Robbie10 and save yourself 10%. These are a product after handling them and putting them in, I would definitely 100% recommend. I'm gonna go try and teach Courtney how to ski for the second time tonight. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and stay committed. And if you haven't seen us cook rice, go watch that video. Wow.